Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Do this now. Do now. A 7.5 kilogram bowling ball is lifted 0.912 meters from the floor to the table. How much work is done? So from here to here. Okay. You do it. I'll do it over here. You should be able to figure that out, right? Yep. Okay. Now I plug this into my calculator. 75 times 0.912, and I get 68.4. How much work is done? This much work. Easy. 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 Uh-oh. What happened to the work done? Hmm. Where, where did it go? Bowling ball's still there. It's still there. What happened to the work done? Okay. Uh, important. Anytime a force is exerted through a displacement, energy changes. So a force, kind of like picking up my bowling ball, a force is exerted, force through a displacement, displacement, work is done, easy stuff. Uh, oh, and energy changes. Earth's gravitational field exerts a force on a mass according to this equation. We've seen this before. That's Newton's law of universal gravitation. Mm -hmm. The intensity of the field varies with the distance from the centers of the mass. We've seen this before. Yeah, so that, you, that little g is the acceleration due to gravity, but it's also an indication of the intensity of the gravitational field mm -hmm. uh, at a certain distance from Earth's core mm -hmm. center. Centers. Work must be done to change the distances from the centers of mass. And we've seen this before. Work is force times the cosine theta of the chain of the displacement here in the y direction. Okay, all this seems like sort of review. Um, since work changes energy, according to the work energy theorem, work changes energy dot dot dot. In a system that includes the Earth and an object of mass m, work done moving m along the radius is stored as gravitational potential energy. Ugh. Ugh. Now, didn't we say in the beginning what happened to the work done? That's right. What happened to the work done? Well, it gets stored as ugh. Gravitational right? potential energy. Okay, that's, that's important. Um, gravitational potential energy, UG, uh, energy due to elevation above a reference point. Aha, uh -huh, reference points. Okay, so here is our equation that we will use to calculate UG. Mg delta H. That's what we did for the do now. That was the mass times the acceleration due to gravity times the displacement. I was like, I erased it. Yeah, I, I, right? As I watched you erase, I thought she'll regret yeah, that later. Yeah, okay, that's right. <laughs> But the most, I think something really important here is that we have to realize that UG, the change in UG, is equal to our work. That's right. Right? So we can set them equal to each other. So, um, according to the definition, uh, kinetic energy equals one half mv squared. An object with uh, an initial velocity of zero, it's not moving, has zero kinetic energy. Zero times anything is zero. It's not moving. There's, That's right. You know, there's no kinetic energy. But what about... What about UG? Under what conditions would UG be zero? Hmm. Well, um, you get to choose. If, you, if I think about that equation, mg delta h, 
It's the change in height that matters. Right there. there it is. It's the change in height that matters, not where you start or stop. So the so that with that what you're saying is that my 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 zero my condition of it being zero it could be here and I could pick it up right or it could be here and I bring it down yeah it's up to me you get to determine where zero should be and being a lazy person like everyone else you should choose the easiest possible place to make zero you got the power. That's right. Make it easy. Okay. Um, question for you. The 7.5 kilogram bowling ball um, sits on the table 0.912 meters above the floor. If the floor is UG zero, how much UG does it have? I love that. How much UG does it have? Okay. You guys take a stab at it. Sorry. I know I'll say delta y here. Oh. How much of does it have? It was mg delta h. So yeah, of equals mg delta y delta h. Okay. Oh, delta y, yeah. Uh, and uh, my mass, 7.5 kilograms times my acceleration due to gravity, which I'm going to use as 10 because we're going up. Yep. Right? Okay. And then to meters per second squared. You're doing work against gravity. Uh-huh. Gravity's doing... pulling down. You're pushing up. And then, oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, that says, oh, I was like, does that say delta y? My, my delta y is 0. 0.912 meters. When I plug this into the calculator, what? So that was my last answer, right? Okay, 7.5 times 10 times 0.912. Ah, behold, the same answer. <gasps> ah! So. Uh, what did we calculate the first time? Uh, the first time we calculated how much work was done, right? Okay. Oh, and that makes sense because they're equal to each other. Woohoo! Woohoo! Okay, it makes sense. All right. Um, I think we have some questions for you to do. Uh, oh, one more question. Uh, Miss Moore does that many joules of work on a 7.5 kilogram bowling ball, carrying it up a ladder. Wow. Okay. Skill. Talk about skill. Um, how high above the ground does she carry it? So I know that. Uh, so work equals UG, which equals um, M, G, H, or delta Y in this case. Um, what do I have here? I have joules, that's work. Uh, and I have my mass, 7.5 kilograms. 7.5 kilograms. Or how high above the ground? Okay. So I don't have UG, but I do have work, so I'm just gonna forget this and say that these two are equal. So I know that work equals mg delta y. Solve this for delta y. mg delta y equals work divided by mg. Come on, just don't be lazy this morning. Do the, do the work. That's right. <laughs> okay, um, and then my work was 180 joules divided by my mass, which was 7.5, and times gravity. Oh, I need to include my kilograms, meters per second squared, equals um, 188 divided by 7 times 10, 75 divided by 75, and I get 2.51. Two and a half meters. There's one meter, there's two meter, there's three meters. That'd be halfway in between. So wait, one, two, right here? Yep. Dying. So I would have added my own mass if we asked um, how Miss Moore does 
Like, it wouldn't matter, no, right? No, we're, we're, you're doing work on the bowling ball. Yeah, you are doing work on the ball. Yeah. Um, all right. Questions? Concerns? That's what the classroom time is for. All right. Uh, your homework, page 167, number 31, 32, and 29. Go get them. Done.